Hi there, it's Allison Tibbs here. I wanted to share with you a book that has made a big impact in my life. I received the book at the 312 CEO Space International Forum, and it's written by T. Harp Ecker, and it's called Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. Now, the book talks about how to get, you know, the your money blueprint in order and how to really how you view wealth and success and how to get more financial freedom and independence and wealth. And it's a great book. It's an easy read. I read it in about an, a day and a half. But there's something that really stood out to me in this book, and there's different wealth principles that you read throughout the book. One of the wealth principles really helped me get through just a time in my life where I was feeling like I was stuck. Some certain things just weren't moving. And the wealth principle says, if you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you want to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. When I think about this and the way that it was presented to me was if you plant orange seeds, you'll get an orange tree. But if you want a lemon tree and you're still planting orange seeds, you're still going to get your orange tree. If you want a lemon tree, you have to start planting lemon seeds. And in life, a lot of times we want certain results. We want to achieve certain things. We want certain success, certain um, accolades, financial status, or whatever the case may be. But if our roots, which is our mindset, our beliefs, our self-talk, our attitudes, the environment that we're in, the people that we hang out with or surround ourselves with, if they still stay the same and they're producing those same results that we're not really happy with, how can we expect those things to change? So this really wealth principle especially really challenges me and challenges you to take a look at the things that you have going on inside, the internal things, and if they are preventing you from success, you're going to have to make a change. So I don't know where you are in your life or what you want to achieve, but if you are finding yourself at a place where you're feeling stuck, you're not getting the results that you want, it may be time for you to change the roots so you can change the fruits. This is Allison Tibbs. I hope you have a great day. Again, the book is called Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. If you haven't read it, please check it out. It's a great book. Uh, my mom has bought it for all of her friends. So every one of our friends is getting this book mailed to them. Um, I'm going to start doing the same because it's really a great book. But ultimately, you know, you need to start investing yourself and personal development is a great way to do it. So definitely check out the book and let me know what you think and what your favorite wealth principle is. Until next time, this is Allison Tibbs.